Emet. This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Emet. This sound recording has been made into four parts. You are listening to the first part, which contains the introduction, section one, and section two, which deal with the topics of etymology and definition, history, evolution, evidence from molecular biology, evidence from the fossil records, anatomical adaptations, the rise of Homo sapiens, and the transition to civilization. The second part of this recording, part two, contains section three and four, which deal with the topics of habitat and population, biology, anatomy and physiology, genetics, life cycle, diet, biological variation, and race. The third part of this recording, part three, contains section five, which includes the topics of psychology, sleep and dreaming, consciousness and thought, motivation and emotion, and sexuality and love. The fourth and last part of this recording, part four, contains section six, which deal with the topics of culture, language, gender roles, kinship, ethnicity, society, government and politics, trade and economics, war, material culture and technology, body culture, religion and spirituality, philosophy and self-reflection, science and mathematics, and art, music, and literature. The first part, part one, begins now. Humans, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Introduction. Humans, Homo sapiens, are primates of the family Hominidae, and the only living species of the genus Homo. They originated in Africa, where they reached anatomical modernity about 200,000 years ago, and began to exhibit full behavioral modernity around 50,000 years ago. The human lineage diverged from the last common ancestor with its closest living relative, the chimpanzee, some five million years ago, evolving into the Australopithecines, and, eventually, the genus Homo. The first Homo species to move out of Africa was Homo erectus, the African variety of which, together with Homo heidelbergensis, is considered to be the immediate ancestor of modern humans. Homo sapiens proceeded to colonize the continents, arriving in Eurasia 125,000 to 60,000 years ago, Australia around 40,000 years ago, the Americas about 15,000 years ago, and remote islands such as Hawaii, Easter Island, Madagascar, and New Zealand between the years 300 A.D. and 1280 A.D. As early as 12,000 years ago, humans began to practice sedentary agriculture, domesticating plants and animals, which allowed for the growth and advancement of civilization. The development of fuel-driven technologies and new techniques for health improvement in the 19th and 20th centuries caused the human population to rise exponentially. With individuals widespread in every continent except Antarctica, humans are a cosmopolitan species. By 2012, the human population was estimated to be between 6.97 and 7 billion. 
Humans are characterized by having a large brain relative to body size with a particularly well-developed neocortex, prefrontal cortex, and temporal lobes, making them capable of abstract reasoning, language, introspection, problem-solving, and culture through social learning. This mental capability, combined with an adaptation to bipedal locomotion that frees the hands for manipulating objects, has allowed humans to make far greater use of tools than any other living species on Earth. Humans are the only extant species known to build fires and cook their food, as well as the only known species to clothe themselves and create and use numerous other technologies and arts. The study of humans is the scientific discipline of anthropology. Humans are uniquely adept at utilizing systems of symbolic communication, such as language for self-expression, the exchange of ideas, and organization. Humans create complex social structures composed of many cooperating and competing groups, from families and kinship networks to states. Social interactions between humans have established an extremely wide variety of values, social norms, and rituals which together form the basis of human society. Humans are noted for their desire to understand and influence their movement, seeking to explain and manipulate phenomena through science, philosophy, mythology, and religion. Section 1. Etymology and Definition with the discovery and study of fossil ancestors of modern humans, the meaning of the word human changed. As the previously clear boundary between human and ape blurred, now encompassing multiple species. Today, in scientific usage, the word human may refer to any member of the genus Homo. Furthermore, within Homo sapiens, there is a distinction between anatomically modern Homo sapiens and archaic Homo sapiens, the earliest fossil members of the species. Sometimes groups such as the Neanderthals are classified as a subspecies of Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. However, in everyday usage, and in this article, the word human generally refers to the only extant species of the genus anatomically and behaviorally modern Homo sapiens. The open question about possible extinct subspecies will be briefly covered. Fossil humans are covered in the article Homo and in the articles about individual species of the genus. The English adjective human is a Middle English loan word from Old French, ultimately from Latin. The word's use as a noun with a plural, humans, dates to the 16th century. The native English term, man, can refer to the species generally, a synonym for mankind and could formally refer to specific individuals of either sex. The latter use is now obsolete. Generic uses of the term man are declining in favor of reserving it for referring specifically to adult males. The word is from Proto-Germanic, from a Proto-Indo-European root. The species binomial Homo sapiens was coined by Carl Linnaeus in his 18th century work, Systema Naturae, 
and he himself is the electrotype specimen. The generic name, Homo, is a learned 18th century derivation from Latin, ultimately meaning earthly being. The species name, Sapiens, means wise or sapient. Section 2 Scientific study of human evolution studies the development of the genus Homo, reconstructing the evolutionary divergence of the human lineage from other hominins, the shared ancestors of humans and chimpanzees, hominids, great apes, and primates. Modern humans are defined as belonging to the species Homo sapiens, specifically to the single extent subspecies Homo sapiens sapiens. Evidence from Molecular Biology The closest living relatives of humans are gorillas and chimpanzees. With the sequencing of both the human and chimpanzee genome, current estimates of similarity between human and chimpanzee DNA sequences range between 95% and 99%. By using the technique called a molecular clock, which estimates the time required for the number of divergent mutations to accumulate between two lineages, the approximate date for the split between lineages can be calculated. The gibbons, hylobatidae, and orangutans, genus pongo, were the first groups to split from the line leading to the humans. Then gorillas, genus gorilla, followed by the chimpanzees and bonobos, genus pan. The splitting date between human and chimpanzee lineages is placed around four to eight million years ago during the late Miocene epoch. Evidence from the Fossil Record the earliest fossils that have been proposed as members of the hominin lineages are Sahelanthropus chadensis, dating from 7 million years ago, and Aurorin tugenensis, dating from 5.7 million years ago, and Ardipithecus cadaba, dating to 5.6 million years ago. Each of these have been argued to be a bipedal ancestor of later hominins, but in each case the claims have been contested. It is also possible that either of these species are ancestors of another branch of African apes, or that they represent a shared ancestor between hominins and other apes. The question of the relation between these early fossil species and the hominin lineage is still to be resolved. From these early species, the Australopithecines arose around four million years ago, diverged into robust and gracile branches, one of which, possibly Australopithecus garhi, went on to become ancestors of the genus Homo. The earliest members of the genus Homo are Homo habilis, which evolved around 2.3 million years ago. Homo habilis is the first species for which we have positive evidence of use of stone tools. The brains of these early hominins were about the same size as that of a chimpanzee, and their main adaptation was bipedalism as an adaptation to terrestrial living. During the next million years, a process of encephalization began, and with the arrival of Homo erectus in the fossil record, cranial capacity had doubled. 
Homo erectus were the first of the Hominina to leave Africa, and these species spread through Africa, Asia, and Europe between 1.3 to 1.8 million years ago. One population of Homo erectus, also sometimes classified as a separate species, Homo ergaster, stayed in Africa and evolved into Homo sapiens. It is believed that these species were the first to use fire and complex tools. The earliest transitional fossils between Homo ergaster and erectus and the archaic Homo sapiens are from Africa, such as Homo rhodigensis. But seemingly transitional forms are also found at Manisi, Georgia. These descendants of African Homo erectus spread through Eurasia from circa 500,000 years ago, evolving into Homo antecessor, Homo heidelbergensis, and Homo neanderthalensis. The earliest fossils of anatomically modern humans are from the middle Paleolithic, about 200,000 years ago, such as the Omo remains of Ethiopia. Later, fossils from Israel and southern Europe began about 90,000 years ago. Anatomical Adaptations Human evolution is characterized by a number of morphological, developmental, physiological, and behavioral changes that have taken place since the split between the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees. The most significant of these adaptations are bipedalism, increased brain size, lengthened gestation and infancy, or ontogeny, and decreased sexual dimorphism. The relationship between all these changes is the subject of ongoing debate. Other significant morphological changes included the evolution of a power and precision grip, a change first occurring in the Homo erectus. Bipedalism is the basic adaption of the hominin line, and it is considered the main cause behind a suite of skeletal changes shared by all bipedal hominins. The earliest bipedal hominin is considered to be either Sahelanthropus or Auroran, with Artipithecus, a full bipedal, coming somewhat later. The knuckle walkers, the gorilla and chimpanzee, diverged around the same time, and either Sahelanthropus or Auroran may be our last shared ancestor with those. The early bipedals eventually evolved into the Australopithecines, and later the genus Homo. There are several theories of the adaptational value of bipedalism. It is possible that bipedalism was favored because it freed up the hands for reaching and carrying food, because it saved energy during the locomotion, because it enabled long-distance running and hunting, or as a strategy for avoiding hyperthermia by reducing the surface exposed to direct sun. The human species developed a much larger brain than that of other primates, typically 1,330 cc's in modern humans, over twice the size of that of a chimpanzee or gorilla. The pattern of encephalization started with Homo habilis, which at approximately 600 cc had a brain slightly larger than chimpanzees, and continued with Homo erectus, 800 to 1100 cc, and reached a maximum in Neanderthals, 
with an average size of 1200 to 1900 cc, larger even than Homo sapiens. The pattern of human postnatal brain growth differs from that of other apes and allows for extended periods of social learning and language acquisition in juvenile humans. However, the differences between the structure of human brains and those of other apes may be even more significant than differences in size. The increase in volume over time has affected different areas within the brain unequally. The temporal lobes, which contains centers for language processing, have increased disproportionately, as had the prefrontal cortex, which has been related to complex decision-making and moderating social behavior. Encephalization has been tied to an increasing emphasis on meat in the diet, or with the development of cooking, and it has been proposed that intelligence increased as a response to an increased necessity for solving social problems as human society became more complex. The reduced degree of sexual dimorphism is primarily visible in the reduction of the male canine tooth relative to other ape species, except gibbons. Another important physiological change related to sexuality in humans was the evolution of a hidden estrus. Humans are the only ape in which the female is fertile year-round, and in which no special signals of fertility are produced by the body, such as genital swelling during estrus. Nonetheless, humans retain a degree of sexual dimorphism in the distribution of body hair and subcutaneous fat, and in the overall size, males being around 25% larger than females. These changes, taken together, have been interpreted as a result of an increased emphasis on pair bonding as a possible solution for the requirement for increased parental investment due to the prolonged infancy of offspring. Rise of Homo sapiens by the beginning of the Upper Paleolithic period, 50,000 years ago, full behavioral modernity, including language, music, and other cultural universals, had developed. As modern humans spread out from Africa, they encountered other homonyms such as Homo neanderthalensis and the so-called Denisovans who may have evolved from populations of Homo erectus that had left Africa already around two million years ago. The nature of interaction between early humans and these sister species has been a long-standing source of controversy, the question being whether humans replaced these earlier species, or whether they were in fact similar enough to interbreed in which case these earlier populations may have contributed genetic material to modern humans. Recent studies of the human and Neanderthal genomes suggest gene flow between archaic Homo sapiens and Neanderthals and Denisovans. This migration out of Africa is estimated to have begun about 70,000 years ago. Modern humans subsequently spread globally, replacing other hominins either through competition or hybridization. They inhabited Eurasia and Oceania by 40,000 years ago, and the Americas at least 14,500 years ago. Transition to Civilization Until circa 10,000 years ago, humans lived as hunter-gatherers. 
they generally lived in small nomadic groups known as band societies. The advent of agriculture prompted the Neolithic Revolution, when access to food surplus led to the formation of permanent human settlements, the domestication of animals, and the use of metal tools for the first time in history. Agriculture encouraged trade and cooperation, and led to complex society. Because of the significance of this date for human society, it is the epoch of the Holocene calendar, or the human era. About 6,000 years ago, the first proto-states developed in Mesopotamia, Egypt's Nile Valley, and the Indus Valley. Military forces were formed for protection, and government bureaucracies for administration. States cooperated and competed for resources, in some cases waging wars. Around 2,000 to 3,000 years ago, some states, such as Persia, India, China, Rome, and Greece, developed through conquest into the first expansive empires. Ancient Greece was the seminal civilization that laid the foundations of Western culture, being the birthplace of Western philosophy, democracy, major scientific and mathematical advances, Western literature, and historiography, as well as Western drama, including both tragedy and comedy. Influential religions such as Judaism, originating in West Asia, and Hinduism, originating in South Asia, also rose to prominence at this time. The late Middle Ages saw the rise of revolutionary ideas and technologies. In China, an advanced and urbanized society promoted innovations and in sciences such as printing and seed drilling. In India, major advancements were made in mathematics, philosophy, religion, and metallurgy. The Islamic Golden Age saw major scientific advancement in Muslim empires. In Europe, the rediscovery of classical learning and inventions, such as the printing press, led to the Renaissance in the 14th and 15th centuries. Over the next 500 years, exploration and colonialism brought great parts of the world under European control, leading to later struggles for independence. The scientific revolution in the 17th century and the industrial revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries promoted major innovations in transport, such as the railway and automobile, energy development, such as coal and electricity, and government, such as representative democracy and Communism. The advent of the information age at the end of the 20th century, modern humans live in a world that has become increasingly globalized and interconnected. As of 2010, almost 2 billion humans are able to communicate with each other via the internet and 3.3 billion by mobile phone subscriptions. Although interconnection between humans has encouraged the growth of science, art, discussion, and technology, it has also led to culture clashes and the development and use of weapons of mass destruction. Human civilization has led to environmental destruction and pollution significantly contributing to the ongoing 
mass extinction of other forms of life called the Holocene extinction event, which may be further accelerated by global warming in the future. We now come to the end of the first part, part one of the spoken article, Humans. The next part, part two, contains section three and four, which deals with the topics of habitat and population, biology, anatomy and physiology, genetics, life cycle, diet, biological variation, and race. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 unported license, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.